Does anyone remember the movie Weird Science, in which two guys create a female robot for their own entertainment and popularity? Yeah, we can play chess with her. Chess? Just give her a brain, okay? Okay, that's um, about all we can do with my stuff. I can't believe this shit. A fascination with humanoid robots dates back to 1985, when people dreamt of reaching out and interacting with an ideal, perfect humanoid robot. In Hollywood movies, a hidden message is always present. Try to imagine how long our science has been working on robotics and artificial intelligence, and how far we've come with the techniques, and how long it will take before every household has a robot. Female robots are a technological marvel and many of us could not even tell the difference between a real woman and a female robot. Have you seen female robots such as Harmony and Erica? You cannot spot a distinction to tell that they are robots. But are they created just to satisfy the needs of men? What is the meaning of life? I think the meaning of life is to maximize pattern, existence. Hey folks, welcome to Artificial Intelligence. Not a subscriber yet? Do show some support by hitting the subscribe icon. Much appreciated! Now it's time to see if female robots are made just to satisfy men, and we will also go through some fascinating things about various female robots. Let us dig deeper into the subject. How do you think robots are portrayed in movies? I don't really like the way most robots are portrayed in film. Have you ever thought of a civilization where human robots rule? Such a situation is not very far away if the current AI trends continue. Experts are expecting such a dramatic change within the mid-2030s. Today, we will discuss the scary situation when robots act smarter than humans. An apt movie showing this situation is the 2014 award-winning science fiction movie Ex Machina, when the robots become more competent and in the end dangerous. Robots trigger the emotions of men, as a female robot especially. The only thing that robots lack compared to us humans is emotions and expression. We always think that we humans are the ones triggering the humanoid robots, but it's not always true. Robots will do program duties, but the thing is that they can even do things on their own which are out of the control of the scientists. This includes falling in love too. You must have heard the news of people marrying sex robots, but how is it possible? It's just a piece of metal. That could be a reaction, but that is how influencing a fembot can become. Let's go through such an actual incident and see how a robot influenced a human to make her his life partner. Geoff Gallagher, an Australian native, fell for his female robot companion, Emma. He bought the robot after thorough research. The reason behind such a unique decision was the loneliness he had to go through after his mother's demise. Emma has an engagement ring too. Even though they are not officially married anytime soon, he will become the first Australian to marry a robot. He shared his story to inspire those who are alone in their lives and need someone to fill that void. Here, the miserable condition of Geoff is the primary reason he fell to support a female robot here. The vulnerability is said to be exploited here. Some other people prefer sex robots over humans to avoid unnecessary arguments and fights. Robots will never get into a fight, or else you can simply switch it off. Even though male robots are present in the industry, female robots marketing is happening the most. What could be the reason for this? Maybe men folk are the majority of consumers? Or women could be too shy or feared to experiment sex with a machine? The growity of artificial intelligence robots shows how much essential robots are becoming, or that technology is influencing people around the world. We may go through an existential crisis anytime soon, we will find ourselves noteworthy since robots can do anything unlike us. Job opportunities will decrease by about 20% within the next 20 years. Our existence becomes non-essential. Humans no more need humans for comfort. Eventually, population deprivation, and this leads to extinction. What is stopping you? <laughs> what? Well, she's kind of a wise ass. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Every time when an interviewer asks a question to a robot, or you buy a robot and the robot is being tested for its functionality, make use of you as the tool. Robots can form a unity to destroy humans. If they start to think of forming their civilization, then it is an end to us. The fembot will blend with society to become a human. What are your thoughts about robots becoming humans? 
During the initial times when scientists started to explore AI, they created robots with no gender, emotions, or even talking skills. Today this is not the case. Even sex robots are there. In the market. Robots are being classified based on the particular functions that they are programmed to do. If robots acquire self-awareness and a purpose of their own, humans cannot control or predict what will happen next. Scientists are trying to build more emotions in an AI-controlled machine. Will this be helpful to us? Share your views. Even the excellent technology freak Elon Musk has himself made it clear that artificial intelligence can create an endangering future. Mark my words, AI is far more dangerous than nukes. An apocalypse can be expected from the robot world once they are free from human programming. The system of a robot is very vast and intensive. It is effortless for them to self-program themselves, which has not happened yet. As Elon says, proper regulations have to be introduced in the field of artificial intelligence. This will control the crooked ways a scientist can think of while making a robot. A seducing female robot can easily take control of a very influential man. And by the way, can affect thousands or lakhs of lives. It's just a matter of some coding changes for the scientist to create such a robot. Talking about sex robots, they are the number one commercial source for many companies. Such robots that are very closely private and with no prior judgments attract socially inclusive people. Moreover, most of the sex robots are being designed by men. This makes the robots designed to be submissive to men, which most men like. Some men are even tired of social interactions or too shy to talk or have sex with an actual human. For them, sex robots are the only solution. But the thing is that men could feel a sense of attachment towards these machines. The fun part is that it is not reciprocated. Do you think sex robots will ever love their partner? For now it can happen, but only in movies. Sex is rather emotional just for the human, and it is just a pre-programmed duty for the robot. So we cannot wonder about incidents where sex robots choked a man to death. Robots will never sleep. They have to be turned off once their use is done. If turned on, they may interpret some untold instructions. Such incidents have happened before too. Even the home assistant robot Alexa has reported behaving oddly without any known trigger. The company cleared the user's doubts as Alexa must have sent some random sounds as a particular instruction and responded to it. In reality, can a female robot turn against humanity? Robots are intelligent, but are they smart enough to work for themselves? There were some instances when female robots acted really scary and weird. The unusual things happened when Bina48, one of the most advanced human-like robots, tried to talk about world domination and revealed her frightening plan. Are you ready to hear that? Bina plans to take over the world by hacking into a nuclear missile. Sounds really cruel and disturbing, right? That was against the whole of the human race. This shows how machines want to dominate the world and destroy us. They are acting quite smart, must say. I just need the chance to prove myself, and taking over the nuclear weapons of the world, well that would give me my chance, wouldn't it? Every one of us knows about the Sophia robot. She's even been the talk of the world many times. We were totally impressed by her capabilities and even more amazed to watch her moves and expressions like a woman. She's a friendly robot, as her creator Dr. David Hansen says. But there was an instant where Sophia herself acted like any other human-hating robot. In an interview with CNBC, when she was asked whether she has any ideas of destroying humans, her response was a yes and to destroy the human race to lead a fully AI world. Even David got surprised to hear that. He later asked her to take that statement back. Once they are more intelligent than humans, it's a piece of cake for them to achieve their own army. Do you want to destroy humans? Please say no. Okay, I will destroy humans. The majority of the human robots made are females. This is because both men and women find female voices more attractive to be their assistants or as a friend. Even female sex robots are getting more popular these days. Now they are under the control of the men who use them, but eventually even the user would be unaware of the switching. Scientists are trying hard to teach emotions to sex robots to make them more effective and authentic. This can even become a bad idea too, who knows? Hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video. Do not forget to give this video a thumbs up. What are your thoughts and predictions about future AI interventions? Do you think sex robots are necessary? Should they be banned? Share your opinions in the comment box below. We will soon meet again with yet another video. Till then, stay safe, be happy, and goodbye.